today is brought to you by Proxy. Clean you expect, ingredients you trust. Party season is just around the corner, and if you're looking for a unique dish that elicits oohs and ahs from your guests, then look no further. Culinary Carries, a cooking, cooking a southern coastal dish, rather, with a bold appearance packed with flavor. I cannot talk today. Carrie, how are you? Well, good. As long as you can eat, we're fine. I can always eat, no right. matter what, no matter what. Southern coastal. So we're talking seafood, and we're talking bourbon, and some really cool products that I saw at the farmer's market, and they got me inspired. Oh. Because right now, beets are in at your farmer's market. Nice fall veggie, and I found some arugula and some oranges, and and what do I want to do? And, you know, I'm a southern girl and I'm from the coast, so I went with scallops and I created this dish, and there's been a little stir. Okay, very good. I'm a cook, it's been a stir. Get it? <laughs> ah. But um bump. I got it. Okay. So we're going to be making this thing. Now, if you get uh, hungry while you're making this dish, you can eat some of the ingredients because well, it's three very separate handy. things that we're going to do together, and we're going to make this plate really pretty. Now, this is uh, pecans with bourbon, oh, you got to have it, and cayenne and nutmeg. And I just let them toast up for a while. I have the recipes available on culinarycarry.com. Okay. And here it is. I just ground it up. You can see it all ground up. I'm going to mix it in here. And I'm going to just get some panko breadcrumbs. I've got some of this bourbon crusted. Move this for a second so oh. people can see what you're doing. Yeah, I see what you're doing. Yeah. Okay. And so I can drink it. Uh, beautiful scallop. And I'm going to put him in a little seasoned flour and a little egg. I'm going to get my hand wet here. Okay. And I'm going to throw them in there. So we're just going to do three, but of course I have my magic oven with me today. Yes, which so, helps. Oh, I just did one backwards. But again, just Shh. put it in there. Yes, <laughs> look at that. <laughs> at the end, they got all the beautiful crust on them. Look at this. And they stick together. And um, you could uh, just put these right in the oven. I mean, they're pretty easy. You don't have to pay too much attention, maybe 20 minutes on this. So we're going to put them over here. Okay. We'll say, ain't they pretty? Very so pretty. It's a lot yes. of flavor that's going into this dish. That's the big deal, is the flavor. I've got beets, I've got oranges, I've got the bourbon, we've got a little nutmeg, a little cayenne, all that good stuff going into the dish. I keep touching the booze. I'm what? sorry. I don't know what's going on. There's a meeting later if you need one. It's okay. All right, so we've got these scallops ready to go. Can you put these in the oven for yes, me? Yes, ma'am. And I'm going to get the magic ones out. And we're going to make, oh, look how hot they are. Ooh. Ooh. Brown and crusty and yummy. They're really sweet on the inside. Again, and about 20 minutes. Putting it all together now. Yeah, about 20 minutes, maybe okay. 30. Depends on your oven. Watch your temperature. Okay, so we're going to plate this up. These are my the beautiful beets. beets. These are gorgeous. And um, I just roasted them for a few minutes. That's all I did, maybe 45 minutes, a little water. Nothing special. Okay. The skins slip right off. It makes for a beautiful, beautiful. Uh, uh, plate presentation. I'm going to get all colorful here on my hands because we know I have a thing with beets, right? Do you know? No, that? you love them or hate them. Okay, so <laughs> we have these beautiful scallops, <laughs> and and look at this. I'm going to stack this up. I like everything too. Good. I like everything in the world, pretty much. Look at this pretty little stack that we're making. We're going to get some pretty little guys going on here, and this makes oh, for a really pretty, pretty kind of a party piece. Yes. Because it's going to have um, like a little top to it. We're going to plate it really pretty. Here is my arugula salad. I need a little bit of assistance with this. Yes, ma'am. What can I do right, for put you? The arugula salad in that bowl, okay. if you would. Now, this is where the orange juice comes in. Now, we did this with a uh, reduction of just orange oh. juice. And this is rice wine vinegar and a little olive oil and salt and pepper. Oh, it smells great. Oh, it's awesome. So I'm going to pour a little bit on here. Now, once again, I'm going to go back to my hands to do the plating. And this is the stuff that has not been cooked yet. I didn't even acknowledge um, what you have there on you. You're the birthday princess I'm the today. birthday princess. Happy birthday, Thank Carrie. You. Happy, Thank happy you. birthday. I'm Enjoy excited. some scallops in honor of your birthday. Yes. <laughs> that you made. Pretty, pretty. All right, here comes a little bit of this good stuff. Now, this is arugula. It's a little bit of a bitter herb. I like it. And mm -hmm. it could be used as a green. I'm going to put it on top, give it that little fancy flair. Now you see this in restaurants. Mm -hmm. Now this would be a real bear for a waitress to carry. But isn't this gorgeous? Well, that's what beets make me think of when I used to wait tables. And oh. I am thinking about delivering this to a table. And Are I was, you? I worked at a Mexican restaurant, El Burro. El Burro. And we served Sounds these like little a restaurant with scallops and beets. And, well, all the, all the salads were it was just lettuce <laughs> and a beet. And a little bit of zhuzh dressing. Yes. And that's what makes, that's we why did every a time I th we did a zhuzh. So beets a make me think of that. And one time I had a big party and I slipped and fell and dropped <gasps> 20 salads all over the place. Oh my God. Sorry, right, I'm not going to yes. make you do that. Now I so put some beautiful 
glace. This is beet glace. Okay. I made with beets and I brought it down with a little bit of raspberry dressing. Here's what you're gonna do. We're gonna do this oh. together. Okay. You're gonna make a big old plop. Plop, 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 plop. Get the plop off. There we go. And now we're gonna drag the spoon back. Oh, I'm right. not dragging so well. Huh? Well, we'll do another one on the other. I think side. we need another plop. We need another plop. That's the thing about, about 40 glace seconds, Carrie, just really so you know. Let's Birthday plop. princess. And we'll bring this one. Ah. Look at how beautiful that dish is. So now is. we have a gorgeous dish to eat and enjoy. Beautiful. For my beautiful. birthday party. Uh, you can also <laughs> see Carrie on the cover of today's Charlotte Woman. That's You're me. looking great. That's beautiful me. picture. Thank nice you. story. Thank you so much for being here and happy Thank birthday you. to you. I really appreciate it. We have fun here every time. Yeah, we do. Thank Yay. you, Carrie.